Good morning, this is Robert Griswold, Ready Made Resources, uh, here in beautiful Tennessee in the morning, and it's a beautiful day outside. And I want to address something uh, that a lot of people ask me about, and it's something that concerns you, concerns me, concerns my cameraman, it concerns everyone in the United States, and that is our right to privacy. More and more we are seeing this right to privacy, which is a guaranteed right, that we have a right to be secure in our papers and possessions that no one is allowed to snoop upon them without a warrant and due, due process, all those things that we hold dear. And yet today, more and more, we're seeing our right to privacy, our private emails, and other things that we do being violated. People uh, taking the, the information we send that we expect to be private, and they're using it for marketing, they're using it for whatever nefarious purposes they want to. Big tech is known for doing this. We're catching them all the time, interfering with our right to privacy, snooping on us, turning on our computer, turning on our camera, videoing us when we don't know we're being videoed. That's why one of the reasons I put tape over my computer video, so I don't get videoed if I don't want to. But again, they can still listen. Uh, Apple was just caught using their Sirius program to spy on people, even in intimate moments, they were listening to them. People doing um, deals between themselves. They were being spied upon. What happens to Apple? They apologize. Even if they were fined, it would be minuscule compared to the damage that is done to people's privacy. Because once that information is on the internet, or if it got leaked out or hacked, you could be irreparably damaged. Your reputation, whatever, could be damaged. So what do we do? You know, one of the things that we have in... Um, is called a one-time pad code. Now this is a completely unbreakable code, so say the mathematicians, the experts, whatever. It cannot be broken. It's mathematically impossible to break. So I'd like to just describe to you what it is, how you can use it, how it can be used to protect your data, and to, so that you could send a message. Maybe one day, if we had an EMP or a collapse or a societal breakdown or whatever, even a hurricane goes through and have an anarchy breakout, and you wanted to send a message to a friend telling them maybe how much supplies you had, where you would meet, what your condition is, personal private information that if others heard, they could exploit you with. They would know you might have resources or abilities that you might not want them to know you have. And so you can give these messages to people that if you, once you send it, it will become completely unbreakable. Word of caution. Code is illegal on ham radio so i'm causing you ahead of time do not send code across ham radio it is illegal if you get caught you'll be fined for doing it and the fines are generally fairly steep so don't do it just a word of caution but one day again you might need this now a one-time pad code is made up of two elements one this is called the public key you can get these anywhere we uh when we sell these machines here we give you a, two laminated copies of this, one for you and one for someone else that would be getting your one-time pad coded at a, t a certain time. The, the, the thing is divided, if you'll see, and sending and receiving a message. So it's just uh, one way you do it one way and then the other way you do it backwards and it comes out with a message. So let's look at what we have. And this is what this machine here makes. It is called a one-time pad. It is completely a randomness of letters, numbers, so that you can use this with assurance that it cannot be broken. One of the things they do to break codes is that E is the most common letter in the alphabet. I think X is the least common. So they would just use those number crunches to find out what you know, code or what symbol you would use to break a code because E would be the most common symbol in that, in that code you would send. Well, with a one-time pad code, even if you sent the word seek, the two E's would have different values when you sent it. The one-time pad generator does that. So the, the, the E in one, the first E in the word seek would be maybe K. The second uh, E in that word would be, it might be T. And then the next time if you sent the word seek in the same sentence, it would be completely different in the second time you use the word seek. So it is completely an unbreakable code. You can send this with reasonable assurance that you will not or no one will be able to decipher what you're saying. After all, we are guaranteed this right to privacy. So let's just show you how it's done. And for the sake of visualization, I have taken this one-time pad 
and made it bigger so that you can ease more easily see it. So what I would do is I would take the one-time pad, this is the one-time pad code here, this line here, and I would put it, uh, this is the message I would want to send. The chair is against the wall. I would write underneath of it each value, the one-time pad code. And then I would take my public key, when I'm sending it, again, receiving it is different, but when I'm sending it, I would take the one-time pad, J, come down to J here, and then go across to T, T is here, come down, vector it in, and it would be the number two. Same thing, H and L, so I'd come down to L, and go across to H, and it's the letter S. And then for E, I would do the same thing. It would be N and E, so I'd go across to N, go to E, and it would be the letter R, Romeo. So I would do that for the whole thing, and this is the code I would send. Again, unbreakable. Nobody knows that you're saying the chair is against the wall. The person on the other side would just use it in the send receiving mode and do the same thing. They would use the one-time pad. They would go down... Um, to the, the number two and go you know go across use the one time pad j go to two and go up and it's the word t and same thing for all of them so you just do it opposite from the way you do it on the sending side once you have done that and you've generated two one time pad codes you must burn this it's heat it's heat sensitive paper so it actually burns the letters off I can get the lighter to go here. It burns the letters off. It's been a little damp. It's been on the table. It's damp. It's in the morning time. But anyhow, I would burn this so that it would be completely unretrievable. Same thing for the person after he deciphers the message would burn his one-time pad so that these would not ever be available. Key. I would never use this twice. If you use it twice, it's a rule you have. If you use it twice, the message becomes easily decipherable. So it's important that you destroy this. Even if you have extra characters le left over, destroy it. The one-time pad generator, which I'll show you how it works here in a second, will create new ones. And then, again, you know, never reuse this one-time pad. That's an iron key rule. And then make sure after you do it, you destroy this. It's, uh, this is pretty much like flash paper, but it's just been on a damp table. Um, I would burn it. There we go. You can see it burning. And once it's destroyed, it's destroyed. Never to be retrieved again. This is a one-time pad generator. Now I want to des describe something to you. You can de develop one-time pad codes online. But keep in mind, spying eyes of big tech. They can match your IP address to the IP address of the website that would generate a one-time pad code. Once you generate that one-time pad, it's assigned to your IP address, so they would know what you have, and that could be broken. That's the beauty of this machine here by Partisan Labs. It is a machine that generates uh, one-time pads. I can do it up to 250, 500, or 1,000 characters. It runs on two batteries, and to do it, all I do is push this button here, turn it on, it's on. I push this to generate the pad, it's generating it right now. You can see the orange light flashing. It turns green. I push this, and it just generated a one-time pad. Now, this isn't good because I need two of them. So for the next five minutes, I can generate as many of these one-time pads as I need to, and they're all identical. As soon as I turn the machine off or go past five minutes, this one-time pad code is lost forever. It can never be regenerated. It is what's used completely random entropy is what they call it. And so it is completely random. Your brain can't do that. You have patterns in your brain that you'll follow and it becomes easily breakable. This right here is completely unbreakable. So what do you do? You would need to print these out. You would give them to a friend or whoever you'd wanna do, however many you want. Maybe you have 10 one-time pad codes. You could color code them, you could number code them so that today you would say pad one, pad two, pad red, pad green, whatever, however you'd want to code them and then give them to a friend. You can put them in an envelope and to be only opened once you send a one-time pad code. So you could hand off the one-time pad code, you could make a drop zone for the one-time pad code, 
As far as I know, social media, you can send a one-time pad code on that. You cannot send it on ham radio. So just be creative in the way you would send your one-time pad code. That's this. That's this message that you want to send, plus the one-time pad, and then the encrypted value of that message. And then, again, you just work it backwards. So, again, like I said, we could be facing one day a time when we have this breakdown in society, whatever it is, and that way information, maybe a meeting place, how much supplies you have, what, whatever it is, that you'll need to send and make sure that your message is secure. You can do that with this. And again, this is a mathematically impossible code to break. So if you have any questions on it, feel free to call us. I'm Robert Griswold, Ready Made Resources, 800-627-3809. Uh, uh, ReadyMadeResources.com, always feel free to give us a call. This machine here, uh, is $175. It does come. We give you two public keys. So you have two of these, one for you, one to give to a friend. There's nothing secure about this. You can get these online. We do laminate them for you so that they are uh, pretty much waterproof and they're a lot more, um, you know, difficult to destroy. So you'd always want to keep this available. Um, and then the one-time pad code generates the one-time pads. Um, anyhow, if you have any questions concerning this, Feel free to give me a call, Robert Griswold, again, 800-627-3809. We'd be more than glad to answer any questions you have. Be safe and be secure in your information. Thank you very much. Signing off, Robert Griswold.